Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Just forgive the stupid glasses. I know some of you said you liked them, but I hate them. I don't know what made me buy these. But anyway, I needed something to read with, and I can read better on the computer with them, so I'm going to use them for now. I just ordered, finally, I've been going back and forth and back and forth between Instacart for groceries and I buy direct for glasses. I got a new prescription Monday. I got it sent to them yesterday and the glasses that I wanted. Well, then they said, we tried your prescription on those frames and it, they won't work. Oh, they were so cute. They were green. Like a, like a, um, like a, uh, the Christmas tree green. Only, no, nah, see, it's evergreen. Like, not bright green, like grass. Anyway, darker green. And they, they just looked really cute. But anyway, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. You take pictures of yourself without your glasses, and then you upload them to their app. And then every pair of glasses you click on, you can try them on, and they'll put the <laughs> they'll go under your face, you know. And a lot of them look like these, you know, like they're just sticking out 3D. But anyway, moving on, I I I debated whether to share this. The only reason I'm sharing it is I don't think any of you need to worry about this, but perhaps. You can get your family's attention with it. All right. Now, I do know the first fruits raptured people are coming back to help those left behind not take the vaccine. I know that. We're going to help them physically uh, get food, get uh, their health, get, put, put them back together. <laughs> Heal them, all kinds of stuff, and save them. Get heart healing and deliverance and that sort of thing. Well, but I thought, you know, we do not know exactly will we be back before they enforce this? Hopefully, yes. If not, pass this on to however many you can. I don't, I doubt if Facebook's going to allow it up. This is on Brighteon. It is Natural News by Mike Adams, who owns Brighteon. All right. Now, the title, um, I've got to say it a little different. The Shocking Reason Why Pfizer's CVV Thing Requires Storage at Negative 70 degrees Celsius because it contains experimental nanotech components that have never been used in vaccines before. Why so cold? Why so cold? You're seeing the reports all over the news. Pfizer's new CVV thing requires a storage at negative 70 degrees Celsius or negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which is much colder than the North Pole. If it's not stored at this temperature, its ingredients begin to break down and it fails to work. Currently, Pfizer is claiming, without evidence, that its vaccine is 90% effective. But this claim is little more than corporate propaganda designed to drive up stock prices through false projections. Hmm, I would believe that. But why do these vaccines need to be kept at negative 70 degrees in the first place? The answer, it turns out, is because they contain potentially hazardous ingredients 
that have never been used in vaccines before. At Children's Health Defense, oh, sorry, as Children's Health Defense explained in an August 6th article, M, it's got a small M and then capital RNA vaccines undergo CV1, you know what, clinical trials, including the Moderna vaccine, rely on a nanoparticle based carrier system containing a synthetic chemical called polyethylene glycol. Oh, I've heard of that. That's not the same thing as antifreeze, is it? Polyethylene glycol? I don't think so. Let me look that up. What is polyethylene? Poly F There it is. Polyethylene glycol. Three thousand three hundred and fifty uses, side effects, and warnings. Uh huh. Polyethylene glycol thirty three fifty. Oh, that's the number. <laughs> Is a laxative solution that increases the amount of water in the intestinal tract to stimulate bowel movements. Oh, that's right. It's that. Miralax, that's what it is. Over here it says, polyethylene glycol is a polyether compound with many applications from industrial manufacturing to medicine. PEG is also known as polyethylene oxide or poly oxyethylene ethylene depending on its molecular weight okay that's real scientific stuff there so it's this is just um, found in numerous okay here it says it is a petroleum derivative compound that is made from Ethylene glycol, the main ingredient in antifreeze. There it is. And that is, I will put this article, I will put this whole, this page from Hammer Nutrition. Oh my goodness. It's a petroleum derivative compound, which we use a lot of petroleum derivative compounds. Now, let's not get excited. Did you know that Vaseline is petroleum jelly? Used to say it right on the bottle. Petroleum jelly. It's made from the stuff that gasoline is made of. Aren't men smart? Somebody told them something or some thing told mankind some things. Get my drift? Anyway, I'm not going to read this, but it's, it says an ingredient found in numerous effervescent electrolyte products. I can't believe it's the main ingredient in antifreeze. It's made from ethylene glycol. Okay, moving on. Have I read enough? I'll put the links in the description box. If y'all want to try to share it with somebody you love, someone you know that's real pro, you know what, 
Let's get it so we can get our lives back. Stop wearing these you-know-what on our faces. That's what people want. And they think this is the answer. And they don't realize it's not been tested enough, even though it's been around. H how can you test something where they say people will be, let's just say, not with us anymore? Um... Uh, it says the use of PEG in drugs and vaccines is increasingly controversial due to the well-documented incidence of adverse PEG-related immune reactions, including life-threatening anaphylaxis. Roughly 7 in 10 Americans may already be sensitized to PEG, which may result in reduced efficacy or um, efficacy means the way it works. It's like something you give a patient should work. Let's say a blood pressure pill. Uh, a good efficacy would mean you, you find the right dose. It brings the blood pressure down. And there you go. You just take one pill a day and your blood pressure come down. And that pill has good efficacy for you. Okay, effectiveness. There's a there's another word, effectiveness. Okay, why can't they just use that word to start with? All right. Um, where was I? This is a long arc. I'm not going to read much. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, because because so many Americans may already may already be sensitized to PEG, which may result in reduced efficacy of the vaccine and an increase in adverse side effects. Hmm. If a PEG containing mRNA Vax for COVID-1, you know what, gains FD. That's what I mean by you know what is the number one less than 10. Gains FDA approval, the uptick in exposure to PEG will be unprecedented and potentially disastrous. Moderna documents and publications indicate that the company is well aware of safety risks associated with PEG and other aspects of its mRNA technology, but is more concerned with its bottom line. Okay. Okay, that's all I'm going to read. I'd like the video to go up, and I hope I have not said too much. Okay. Um, with that, I'll say I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how to end this one. I will plead the blood of Jesus over it, because I would like for it to go up, and I would like for it to stay up. So you can share it with people who don't know anything about this particular item that they might be introduced to later on by our military. And we don't want that, do we? No, we do not. Neither does Father. Okay, so I'll plead the blood of Jesus over it and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.